All right, here we go, guys. What are we doing today? We are going to be unlocking a bunch of blades over here. And what does that mean? Well, I'm trying to see if the whole method actually works. So if you look over here in the look, and I still don't really know how to raise luck too much. People tell me that you have to have uh, a guy who has the luck. If you look there, luck modification level percent. This is the only blade that I have that has luck modification. So, and also Zeke also has the highest modification for luck too. We have him at 328, 264, 360, and he has 397 with a bunch of stuff, 352 with Mia. And they have chokers as well, and we're just trying to get the last of the ice ones, and I believe that is going to be Ursula. We're trying to get Ursula. So, if you look over here, Truth is level 6, so I need two of the Truth boosters for that. But Zeke has more of affinity right now to get the uh, Truth stuff. So. Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and use common cores for now. No boosters. Here we go. <gasps> oh my god, I'm getting whoa! I got something, alright? Oh my god. What is it? Is it right here? No. Oh, I mean audio, yeah. My name is Percival. Yes. None can stand okay. against me. He looks cool. Okay, here we go. The last nine. Been doing this for 49 minutes. I've filled up on blade slots as well, so I had to release those back to the wild. But as you can see, I also was able to get Percival pretty early on. So that's pretty cool. All right, here we go. None there. No boosters. Let's do it to it. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna get lucky or are we gonna get any of them? Are we gonna get any of them? Nope. Another useless one. Two crowns. HP modification. So I'm actually, I've been... Oh, well, now we have to take a break and release some of them. I was saying that I am looking at the attributes of them because I'm looking specifically for the lucky, the, the luck modificators. So if you look over here, there's two crowns and then there's the max HP modification. I've been keeping a lookout for luck modification as well as four crowns. So I've seen in the forums that it's pretty much luck to get those, but you want to get those so that you can increase luck for you know, whatever character. And I'm, since I'm trying to get Ursula, I'm trying to get that luck modification for for Nia. Or because um, Ursula is, I guess it's, he's, he's, she's better suited for Nia. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to keep conscious of the pooling method. So I'm keeping wind and ice characters, elements in my pool. I don't really know if that really works. Like, I feel like it's just a placebo effect at this point, because it's just pure luck. Pure luck. Well, I wish that I they see. would uh, actually the uh, if hey, they release hey. a patch, make it easier to get Park. them. You know, and then the next thing is overdrive uh. protocol. So if I get say a blade on a character and it's it's kind of like the wrong fit of the character then I'd want to be able to just like s okay. get those overdrive protocols way so faster I wasn't but it's, it's kind of a chore to get them I mean like I just beat the game recently and I don't really know I'm sure I thought you were supposed to get some like maybe after beating the game but I did not as you can see I'm miss you. so there you go got rid of all those let's go back and open those cores. Come on, the last seven. Come on. 
51 minutes now I've been doing this. 51 minutes. Apparently in the next update for everything, you're going to be able to skip that animation, which is amazing. I mean, just the fact that you're able to do that is really very... Makes me very happy that I can finally skip just that part. You know, but it'd be great to skip this too, because, you know, it's cool to see him go, but it's also incredibly great to just skip it. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, useless. Absolutely useless. Last five. Come on. Come on. Last four. One. Damn. Agility modification. Last three here. Nope. Dexterity modification. Nope. one. Here we go. The very last common core. Common core. Here we go. Common core math. Let's do it. They should have two two. Yeah. Ah. Oh my god, you mean the cream is here. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. That was the last one, and my lovely girlfriend is helping me make coffee, but she spilled all the cream on the road. Oh. Shut up. That's her. Oh. Uh, that's good. Thank you. Oh, so there you have it. Oh, man. That was 55 minutes. So it takes approximately 55 minutes, more or less, to get through 99 core crystals. And, I mean, let's check out what we got. So we got a bunch of useless ones that I'm just going to go ahead and release back. Because I don't need them right now. I don't need them. 99 core crystals. And 99 core crystals. 99 core crystals. Okay, so what did we get? We got a bunch of... I, I saved all of these, and unfortunately none of them have four crowns or the level modification. And what I did get Percival. He looks tight. Let's go see what he looks like over here in the Blade album. So um, really quick before Percival, I actually got Doggus a while back, but I unfortunately, I didn't even know this. It was sublim subliminal. I released him back into the wild and I didn't know and like I want him back. I don't, I think you can get him back. I think. But here's Percival. Let's listen to his voice. At your service. Ooh. The way is clear! For this, I am grateful. Cool, cool. He's like a pirate. Well, he sounds like a pirate. Anyway, he sounds like a pirate or a knight. He's supposed to be a knight because Percival, if you know your lore, or if you've read Ready Player One, 
He is the person who finds the Holy Grail in the Legend of King Arthur. So this is Percival. Welcome to the team, Percival. Let's see what you got over here in the affinity chart. Unfortunately, you're on Nia, my healer. Let's check out what you got. Back to battle. Ooh, he's cool. All right, so he's a five attribute crown level. Agility modification. He uses a katana. He's dark element. And he has these cool sounding specials. Dark Serpent, Blade Vortex, Grim Moon, and Demon Quadrant. Blade Arts, crit up, that's always useful. Battle skills, Eater of Men, increases damage dealt for each enemy incapacitated by 90%. And Soul Sucker restores 45% each time an enemy is defeated. Soul Sucker, anytime you get HP back is very useful. Alright, and Dark Mastery and Assassination! Oh, that's, that's an exclusive one, I haven't seen that one before. Let's check out his affinity chart here. Can do one. Okay, that kind of sucks. He only has one slot. That's lame. And affinity chart. Five stacked pretty much with some empty slots here on the Dark Mastery, Leaping, and Assassination. So there we go. Percival. My rare from the Common Core pool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. There will be more of these to come because I have beaten the game. And after this, it's after... It's post-game content until the new game plus hits in March. So I'm farming I'm farming cores, I'm farming boosters, I'm doing that whole thing, raising the levels of all those places, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully I will complete all of the missing blades because all I want is that Urs is a Ursula and actually I want all of them, but I've just heard that he, Ursula is has a really hard chart to complete and it's best to get it early on. Unfortunately, I beat the game, so there we go. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe here for more videos for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as well as toy videos. Audio.